what's going on bolt brigade oh my like wow michael nunez i think you're the one who suggested this i i can't even tell you how good this name is you're so creative bolt brigade i mean first of all we got alliteration second we got creativity i mean there it doesn't get much better than that thank you so much michael nunez for suggesting this name today we're going to be going over three courses that i ran yesterday i think it was i don't even know what day well, who cares what day it was you're getting to watch the courses anyway right so these courses followed the format of stage two of american ninja warrior so they were pretty tough they had crazy obstacles like a replica of the hammer drop a replica of the falling shelves a replica of air surfer and these are run at Jungle Gym, which is a local gym to me. Caleb Bergstrom and I set them up. Uh, thank you so much to Caleb for setting up some really cool obstacles. Most of these ideas were from him, so pretty sick from him. But we're going to be showing you all three of these course runs. And what we did was the first course run was just the original six obstacles, just like stage two. But after the first course run, we added on an extra obstacle on each of the two runs. So you'll see what those extra obstacles were. And we can see if I can complete the last course, which is the whole course plus two extra obstacles. So let's get right into run number one. All right, run number one finished, and I was able to complete the course. As you guys saw, there was some crazy obstacles. It started out with the steps, just like on the show on stage two, then into the salmon ladder, up, over, and across into the special delivery, then the shade of the V formation to the pill hopper. But this pill hopper was crazy, guys, because if you got too far, you would actually pinch your fingers. So you had to catch it like a sloped cliffhanger. So it was not easy at all. It was harder than your normal pill hopper. Then the crazy replica of the hammer drop. In the next runs, we required that you had to catch it with your legs, but on this one, you could catch it with just your hands um this one was super super scary but i ended up getting it then the flying bar straight into air surfer which is really awesome the air surfer replica at jungle gym feels really similar to the one on the show and then finally the falling shelves the two forward grabs and then finally the reverse grab at the end and this was a mcdonald's hold which is pretty awesome as well so run number one's finished let's go into run number two
So I was able to clear run number two as well. This one was a little more smooth, uh, less hiccups throughout the run. It was really fun as well, just like the last one. And as you can see, we added on one extra obstacle, which is the uh, spin hoppers going down. You had to climb up the truss and then do a big drop on the spin hoppers. As you can see, one of them was tilted upwards. So that one was off limits. So you had to do the massive drop and catch it before it spun out. So just some more spin hoppers on this course. And I was able to clear the obstacle. So now we're going to get into run number three. And there you have it guys, I was actually able to clear all three of these courses, but on run number three there was a couple of hiccups. First of all, in that V formation hold, I got a little bit crazy out of control, but I was able to keep it uh, calm and collected and be able to move through it. And second, on the hammer drop, when I uh, was trying to climb on top, it spun me around, which was crazy. It was super funny and super fun to see. Um, yeah, uh, that was insane. Uh, Caleb warned me before the training that it might spin, but I didn't realize that he meant like that. I thought he just meant like spin a little bit, but no, it fully twisted me and I got super shocked, but I still stayed on. And then I linked the flying bar as well this time because I felt a little more comfortable on it and I linked the falling shelves and the two extra obstacles as you saw the spin hoppers and at the very end was the cliffhanger laches downwards to the dismount and we cleared the entire eight obstacle course in the end so we got all three clears which is super exciting now i'm going to give you guys a top three of my favorite obstacles in the course so at number three has to be the air surfer slash flying bar combo these are super fun because the flying bar cradles swing as well so they're not just your normal flying bar cradles and the air surfer at the end is super fun uh it's a hard obstacle too because you got to be super precise especially on that air surfer for move but once you get it it's super fun so it comes in at number three coming in at number two has to be the falling shelves replica this one was so fun as well i haven't been on the one of the show yet but uh doing it felt pretty similar to what the show looked like doing the two drops forwards and then finally the reverse grab drop at the end and then dismount it felt pretty similar to what it looked like and it was super fun and coming in at number one has to be that crazy unstable bridge hammer drop replica that thing was so crazy and scary but it was so much fun i really enjoyed it let me know what you guys liked for your number one option obstacle in the course down below and we're gonna head right to the outro now so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy please make sure to like subscribe comment share you guys already know the deal i mean at this point do i really even need to tell you uh share this video with your pet ferret if you have a pet ferret if you don't have a pet ferret you better get one so you can share the video with your pet ferret also comment down below questions for shorts uh i gotta love your questions you guys are the best i don't even know how you guys are still
still coming up with them because we asked probably over 100 at this point but we're still going we're still going strong that series is super fun to make so keep asking those awesome questions also leave comments down below for new names thank you again to michael nunez for suggesting the bolt brigade and i will see you guys in the next one but actually before i go i'm gonna tell you guys a joke you ready what do you call a belt made of watches a waste of time Thanks so much again to my awesome electric and amazing channel members, Jumpin' Jack Ninja, The Extreme Ninja, Kent Cadigan Lofsgard, Nick U Ninja, Sizzle Ninja, Sam Shea, Stanny G Tech, and Alex Cross. If you want to become a member, you can click the link in the description down below. There are some awesome perks. You'll get new videos early. You'll get custom videos made for only members. You'll get custom emojis to use in chat, loyalty badges, so much stuff. Click that link down below. <laughs>